I'm gonna be unboxing. Um, I got my tea take a lot packages. Um, so I'm just gonna be unboxing them now. So, yeah. So, um, I got two things. I got, I'll try to put it closer, but this is a veneer. And I also got myself a tape measure. So I do lots of measurements on the car because I'm at budget most of the time. So I, I take lots of measurements of that car. And just I realized having my own tape measure and veneer is just invaluable. So I made this to invest in my future, I made the decision to get these two things. So yeah, I'm actually quite happy. Like, yeah, I'm happy. Okay, so um just updates on everything. So my research project, yeah, I've been putting in lots of work into that. Um, so the two things I've been focusing on for my research project nowadays is static tension and dynamic tension in your belt. Um, they're two different things which shouldn't be confused. So whenever you have a belt drive system with, um, a belt running between two pulleys, your installation tension, as they call it, a static tension, it's that minimum tension you need for that belt drive to up to for that tensioner to be able to operate properly and your belt drive to be able to handle those loads so that's typically typically between 150 to 250 newtons which is not a lot at all and this is when the car is standing still and then you have your dynamic tension or belt pull and this is when your car is moving and this is based off of your torque going into your pulleys so um so if it because your torque can be so high coming out of engines and into your drivetrain like for me it's about 330 meter meters torque um that dynamic tension is huge i'm getting like 10 kilonewtons of dynamic tension so your your difference in tension between the slack and tight side um it's yeah it's like 10 kilonewtons so it's a lot so very clear differences between the two um so i had to figure that out and i've also been working on my mrn so i just have a few stuff that i need to fix on my design um but i've started with shear force and bending moment diagram calculations for that which is basically used to calculate what's going to be your stress um on the shafts so when you apply a force on something you induce a stress in it so it's just calculating the stress at different points i'm um, at key points of failure too so that's I've been working on that a lot. I've been working at budgets, you guys have seen it um, on Car X mainly on and some Car 23. Um work has also been done by me. So 
yeah i've been so busy guys so so busy i even had to get myself a vineyard and yeah and the tape measures so i just thought that was a necessary purchase but all in all i'd say it's going well and now i'm just going to talk about um the career fair so i actually applied for jobs um so i'm in my final year Ooh, so i'm in my final year that was my stand just far and so now i've been applying for jobs so i actually even printed out physical cvs so yeah the first um i'm not i don't really want to work at a bank next year but so psg um yeah i'll apply to them just to see and here was this other company oh roots management they make like trailers and stuff but also do design on cars so i actually gave them my cv so definitely root management was like definitely definitely an option um Ita, um it's i also just said i'll check them out um they have jobs in engineering um and then i have let's see there's a lot hensalt is another they're sort of more on the aviation side but also they do mechanical stuff so um so they do defense so that's hensalt um moko oh i really this one I'm, I'm looking forward to they make drones you see so yeah i even gave them my physical cv so whew, hopefully more cool guys and they also have like um places in cape town actually um so they have i think headquarters in cape town so job opportunities there and just working on those drones and aeronautics i really love aeronautics so that would make me quite um happy ryan metal um they like um denial they're competitors with denial so they make munitions um, I'll put the picture up. So um, I'll, s I'll apply also to Ryan Metal. And make him, they're also like an engineering. They're like, I th I'm, if I'm right, they're into consulting. But yeah, um, make him was going to apply to there. It's another make him thing. But the big one was, yeah, definitely more core. So I'm really, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, so just exciting time in my life, applying for jobs you know all this stuff it's pretty cool to see how far i've come now just some information on my cv so um i won't show it to you because it's got some personal information on which i don't want to get leaked you know but basically it's it's taken me a while to construct the cv and i think it's very good so i'll just share what i put so i put my personal my professional profile which just says a bit about me and my passions and stuff i want to go into you I'm, aer I'm aeronautics and aerospace, but I'm also passionate about automotive, you know, th that side of things. Um, so, yeah, that's professional profile. And then I put my achievements, this from being head boy in high school to my matric final results, that A aggregates that I got, to the stuff I do at university, you know, my, my work at the vehicle team and stuff. So just all my achievements I've put there. Um, my computer skills, so you know, doing SolidWorks, Ansys, AltiSpice, Python, Java, Microsoft Word, Excel, you know, all those computer proficiencies that I need, I put there. And then I put work experience. So here I put my vacation work at JC Motors, so that car company. Um, that car company, they, they basically make, um, like, they make, um, what do you call it, trucks, cabs, bikes, you name it. And I spent almost a month there, so that was pretty cool. Just seeing them work on cars. And that hands-on experience so i put that there and i even i was involved in the engine rebuild where they were like they stripped the engine and then like put it back together so i was i saw so much there you know um cylinder head there was this one time where your crack like they had like this piston and your conrad was literally bent it was so crazy and just it was a blown gasket that's what happens um so water gets in and water is an incompressible fluid so once that happens it applies immense pressure on your conrad and you see bents um conrads so that was crazy so i got to see all that stuff at jc motor so i put that there design team member tax budget and i just put all the work that i've done you know um installing your cvt learning um fixing cv joints designing the drivetrain, you know, all that stuff. I also just put it there, my experience from Badger. 
I did drop shadowing in SAA actually in grade 11. So I also put that, um, this was at the flight simulation side of things. So I just put that and you know, that they taught me about hy the hydraulics behind that flight si simulator. So um, I just added all that stuff. And then I put my education afterwards and qualifications. And that's just um, where I matriculated, um, King's Robin Hills. And now currently I'm in my final year of mechanical engineering. So I put that there. And then I ended it off with references. So having a good CV, you might have done all this amazing stuff, but if your CV doesn't show all that amazing stuff you've done, you know, you, you're underplaying yourself. So I think it's very good to have a well-constructed CV. So um, I made a physical copy and handed it out to all these companies and we'll see. This is the outfit for the day. So yeah, see the low fans. Yep, 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 yep. Vlog loading.